Hello everyone, I am back with another favorites video. It has been a long time. I haven't done one in, well, since July, I think, August, September, October. So this is three months worth of favorites, and I guess I'll call it October, maybe I'll call it August, September, October favorites. I've got items that I recently purchased. I have items that I purchased back in the summer. I have some that I've had for years, but I found similar items online. I'm doing jewelry, clothing, makeup, and home decor. I'm starting with home decor because it's some things over my shoulder. And I want to start with this book. I don't, I don't think I've ever done a book in favorites before. I did one about a year or two ago on my blog. But this one, um, I am a great fan of Holly Holden. She is an interior designer. And I have been following both her Instagram and her YouTube channel. And um, she contacted me a couple of months ago and asked me if she could send me her book. And I looked at the book online and I fell in love with the little bit I could see online. And once I got it, I'm, I am, I'm even more a fan, if that's possible. Let me read you just the, a little bit of the beginning. My eldest daughter, Alexandra, had recently married and was about to move to Berlin, Germany. As I was helping her pack, she asked me, Mommy, how do I furnish my new house to look like a big girl house? I understood what she was asking. She wanted a house that looked formal, elegant, timeless, and charming. She wanted to stop buying disposable furniture and begin investing in pieces that would actually appreciate in value. I realized with a certain sense of pride that she wanted a house just like the one she grew up in. She goes on to tell how she put together some notes and then gave them to her daughter and then I guess some time went by and her daughter wanted some more advice. And then time went by, her daughter wanted more advice. So she, Holly started putting together um, more notes and more notes and decided there was a lot more she wanted to tell her daughter than just in notes. So she ended up, I think it was two years later, with enough to make a book. So that is the result, is this beautiful book. Now she gave me this card with the book um, and I think it's a wonderful description. Holly Holden's style is about decorating once for a lifetime. Her book, The Pretty and Proper Living Room, is about the creation of timeless, tailored interiors rooted firmly in English tradition. The rules of this style are like a secret code that has been whispered from mother to daughter over generations. These secrets have always been inherited until now. It's just packed with so much information. Here's the other thing. It's not stiff and um, it, it's, it's warm and it's friendly. And so let me show you some. I love heron porcelain. They're figurines and so does she. So she talks about how to use heron in your home and she also gives some beautiful photographs of some pieces. Since 1826, the Heron Company of Hungary has been handcrafting playful and amusing animal figurines from porcelain. Adding a Heron bunny or two brings a capricious element to any part of the house. That's the other thing I love is her appreciation for the whimsy, for the pretty. That's, it's called pretty, not just proper. You know, she can do rooms that aren't feminine, but I love the parts that are so feminine to me, like this. I love flowers. I love orchids. I love cash pose. So she has a whole section on cash pose, which are containers for plants. And she goes on to explain uh, all about cash pose and how to use them. She also talks about how to display picture frames, these sterling silver. That's another thing I love is I love sterling silver and silver metal photograph frames and I have them all over our house and so she talks about how to collect them, how to use them, how to display them. This was fun. This is another how to display chapter. She shows how she uses her porcelain figurines, her heron and others to 
uh, to decorate food trays. And I just thought that was brilliant. It's just so original. I would have never thought to do that. She has another one on using linen napkins for entertaining. Uh, she talks about, they, you know, obviously they don't all have to match. Oh, I had marked something because I wanted to read something to you. Darling linen napkins are a must-have for gracious living room entertaining. Offering linen napkins is an easy way to dote on your guests. I have collected many napkins through the years and have also received some as hostess gifts. So she goes on to talk about it. I just love all her personal notes. Um, she tells you about the things that she's collected. And I'll show you one more. I thought this was fascinating. A whole section on finials for the tops of lamps. And she collects them and she puts them on her lamp. So why not do that? That's such a great idea to replace the plain ones that come with lamps and put one that's interesting and pretty. So that is the book. Um, I know you probably want to see more if you're interested in design, but you'll have to get the book because I don't want to show you too much. It'll ruin the surprise. Before I forget, I want to tell you about her YouTube channel. She's done videos on a variety of subjects. She even did one on handbags that she's collected. But I will put all the links to her blog, to her YouTube channel, to the, book, to the book where you can purchase it. I'll put all of that on my blog. And the link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links here. So I hope you'll go look at her. Oh, and her Instagram page. I'll put that down on my blog too because I love her Instagram. She posts a lot of photographs of her own home. That's what's so fun is you get to see inside her home too. And she loves wearing pink. She dresses so beautifully. So just a fun book full of information. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. Thank you, Holly, so much for sending it to me. I absolutely love it. Sticking with the category of home decor, I want to show you the other things back here, these ginger jars. These are brand new. I just got them in the last month, and they come in blue and white, red and white, green and white, black and white, I think, I think are the colors, so you don't have to get blue and white if you don't want. And you get a set of two that are seven inch, or one that's 13 and a half inches, I believe. And I think they're $40. I'll, I'll put the correct price down below. It was such a good value because they're not just plain ginger jars. They're, for one, perforated. But also, underneath is a switch. You put a battery in it, and they light up. All of them light up. The batteries don't come with them, so you do have to make sure you have the right batteries. I believe these are double A's, I think, and the big one I know is a C because I bought D and it's the wrong size, so that's why I can't light this up for, for you. So that's my home decor. Okay, let's go to accessories. These are driving moccasins. I wanted to talk about these. These exact ones aren't available. Um, I got them, where did I get them? Marshalls. They are by Coach, so they are new. Uh, but driving mocks are such comfortable shoes. They're, they're known for this tread on the foot, I mean on the sole. And these are a pebbled leather, and they're usually a softer leather, uh, which makes them so comfy. You can get them with hardware and without. I just thought these were so good looking. I love them with shorts and pants. And you know, you can also wear them with skirts, but I love them with shorts and pants. They're very casual. 
but they're just a, a really good looking classic shoe, especially with uh, hardware. So I wanted to bring them up because I've seen several pairs online, quite a few actually, and I'll link them on my blog. They're just a great classic flat shoe. Oh, the other thing I really love about driving moccasins is the rubber comes up so that when you're driving, you know, have you ever had the back of your shoes get dirty and grungy because of the rubbing on the mat in your car? Well, that doesn't happen because they, the rubber comes up the back of the heel. And I've always liked that about driving moccasins. But a black pair is a great thing to have in your wardrobe. They go with everything. Sticking with black. The other thing is black pumps. I have a pair of, two pairs of black pumps, plain black pumps and black pumps with um, a decoration here. It's a like a tortoise buckle. So I wanted a pair of plain, but I wanted a slingback because slingbacks to me can be dressier if I want. I can see wearing this with a little black dress and pearls. I can see wearing this also with pants. Uh, it's a very versatile look. That's why I love a slingback. The main reason I, I love them is the comfort. They are, you don't have to worry about the back of your shoe rubbing. They fit perfectly because you either adjust them with a the buckle or they've got elastic uh, on the back. So I never have to worry about the shoe not fitting in my heel, which is my hard part to fit. I just think they're such a feminine looking shoe. They're also very flattering. The back of the leg just goes all the way down. There's nothing cutting off your foot. It's just a, a naked heel, which is really flirty and pretty. And just, I love a black sling back. And these were new also, but I got them at Nordstrom Rack. So they're out online. I don't know, they might still have them at your Nordstrom Rack in your store, but um, I couldn't find them online. But I did find some gorgeous slingbacks online. Let me show you a couple of them here. Okay, we've done shoes. Why don't we go to the jacket I bought. This one was another Marshalls find. I found it though last summer, about three or four months ago. I'm bringing it up because I found some gorgeous black blazers online, um, both single button and double button. This is another, um, this has the back vent. This is another classic staple in the closet. I already had a black wool one, but I found I haven't been wearing it as much as I'd like because we haven't had the cold weather. So last winter, I never wore it. The winter before, it wasn't cold enough. I mean, the few days we have, I'm, you know, I'm scrambling to try to wear every bit of wool I have. So I decided to get a black seasonless fabric. Rayon, nylon, and spandex. Okay, rayon, nylon, and spandex. But uh, another great item to have in your closet because you can dress it up or dress it down. Wear it with pants, dressy pants. If you put this with black pants, those sling back heels and a white ruffle blouse, very dressy. Or you could go down to jeans and flats and you know the driving mocks. Just a great versatile piece. In the category still of layering piece, you all have seen me wear cardigans a lot in the last month. And this is a new one. Actually, it's not new, but you haven't seen me wear this one. Um, this is the one you saw me wear in my last post. This was from Talbot's, uh, sent to me from Talbot's. But I also got the shell because I love a sweater set. set. Uh, sweater sets are just such terrific pieces to have in your closet because you can wear them together. You can wear each one separately. You can wear the shell with the sweater just tied around your neck. 
in the summer, or you can wear it like I wore my blue one. I'll put that in here. I've got the shell, and I've tossed the cardigan over my shoulders because it was a warm day. I found this exact color online. What I like to do is, if I don't buy a shell, and I think this one didn't have a shell anymore, I found a t-shirt in the same color. And online I found some great combinations. Uh, so if you're interested in this color in a cardigan, these are not wool, these are cotton. That's the other thing I love. I've got wool ones also, but just like my wool jacket, I don't get to wear them as much because we haven't had the cold weather. So I'll show you how I styled these at the end of the video, but cardigans are just such versatile pieces. Okay, so that's my layering piece. So underneath, you have a lot of options, right? Well, I, these are new and these are all available. I just bought these. So we've got some lint. Sorry about the lint on everything. These are crew neck long sleeve cotton tees. And I love crew neck because you can see them when you put a sweater over your head. Now, of course, you could see any t-shirt if it's a v-neck sweater, but crew neck sweaters come up higher and I like the look of something peeking out above, especially if it's wool. I'm not, it, unless it's a really soft wool or cashmere, I don't like having it against my skin. So I love having a high necked, t-shirt and these are perfect. So I got one in black. I got one in this blue. It's a beautiful color of blue. It's kind of a, a more purple version of blue and cream. And sticking with tops, this one you saw me wear in a video recently and that's with the cardigan and that's the white shirt from Talbot's. But it's, let me see, it's a blend, I think. 98 cotton, 2% spandex, so it does have a little give to it. It does have seams up here to be more fitted. However, I will say on me, this isn't as fitted as it might be on some. It's a two. Maybe if I had gotten it in a petite, it would have been more fitted in here, but it's really comfortable, which is why I like it. It's just a great looking blouse. I bought these pants from and Taylor. They are new. They are still available. Um, I also have, I don't have them right here, but I'll show them to you here. I chose some wide leg black pants from Talbot's. The ones I got from Talbot's were wide leg pants and ankle length. These are slim leg pants and ankle length. And I love the fit. I love that they do have belt loops if I want to wear a belt. Seasonless fabric, no wool, just like the Talbot's pants. But I love having the option of either a wide leg pant or um, a slim fitting straight leg. So if you don't have a pair of black pants, these are great, either the wide leg or the slim fitting ones. Really a great option. So my last pair of bottoms are right here. Yes, I'm showing shorts. For those of you up north, if it's snowing or if you're in Minnesota, I'm also going to show you some khaki pants or chinos. I'm not sure the difference between chino and khaki pants. Um, but these are, I think they're about 10 inch shorts. I love wearing them in the fall. I also wear them in the winter here when it's not too cold. And then I have lots of layers on top and flats, shoes on my feet. It's just a great look. It's another staple. You know, the outfit I'm going to show you at the end of the video, I would just switch out the shorts for um, and wear long pants instead. Let me show you some great looking khaki pants or chino pants here.
all of these are available still online. I also found a pair of great looking shorts online. Let me show you those. These are about, I don't know, eight years old. These were from Ann Taylor. Okay, so that's the clothing. The next item I wanna show you is this lipstick. It's by Hemp Organics. The color is ruby. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's a great color if you like matte lipsticks because it really lasts a long time. Even after you eat a meal, you still have color on your lips. It's more moisturizing than a matte lipstick though. Um, not as moisturizing as some, so I'd say it's in between. I'm wearing it with a little bit of shea butter, but not much. It's still moist, so it's in between. It's definitely a moisture-rich lipstick, just not as moist as some. The last makeup item I want to show you is by 100% Pure, and it's the eyeshadow I'm wearing. This is called Fig, and although, you know, I thought Fig was kind of a purple color, this comes off more like a dark, dark gray with a purple base. The nice thing about 100% Pure is they are all natural. The makeup line is fruit pigmented. That's how you get the color. The finish of this eyeshadow is really lovely. When I move it around, I can see there is a slight, slight satin finish to it, so it's soft on the lid. I don't know if you can see it. So it's just a bit softer than a matte color. I like matte eyeshadows too, but I do love a satin finish. I swept this under my lashes and all over my top lid. Uh, just a really pretty neutral color that goes with everything. I think it makes a really pretty smoky eye. You could also use it as an eyeliner with a wet little eyeliner brush. Really pretty. So that's my makeup. And my last item I want to talk to you about, I don't have yet, I ordered it. It's this bracelet by J, by John Hardy. This is a sterling silver bracelet. It is a curved box link. Just a gorgeous classic box link, but a little bit different because it's rounded at the edges, so I think it makes it softer and it's just a bit more feminine i think i love a box link but i love that this is a more rounded version so i'm looking forward to getting it it was so popular i think this is the third time they've had to do an advance order on this bracelet i'm supposed to be getting it i think mid-november to late november i think it's shipping around the 10th that is all my items for this favorites video i hope you enjoyed the video and if you're not a subscriber to my blog, I hope you'll consider subscribing because subscribers find out right away when I post a new video or a new blog post. And I will put the link to my blog down below if you're interested in subscribing. And thank you for watching my video and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.